everyone, and welcome back to the Home Bookkeeper YouTube channel. If you're running a small business and using QuickBooks Online, you know that keeping track of customer payments is key to staying organized and keeping your cash flow healthy. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to record and receive payments in QuickBooks Online. Whether you're coming in from invoices, sales receipts, or direct deposits. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to record customer payments, link payments to invoices, handle partial payments and overpayments, and make sure everything matches in your bank feed. So let's jump right in. First, go ahead and log into your QuickBooks Online account. From your dashboard, look at the left-hand side toolbar and click on the white plus new button. Under the customers section, you'll see an option that says receive payment. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you'll enter all the details about the payment that you've received from your customer. In the customer field, choose the customer who made the payment. If you've already created an invoice for this customer, QuickBooks will automatically pull it up in the outstanding transactions list. Check the box next to the invoice you're getting paid for. Here's a tip. If it's a payment for multiple invoices, you can select more than one. QuickBooks will total it up all for you. Next, go ahead and fill out the payment details. The payment date should be the day you actually received the money. Payment method, you can go ahead and choose cash, check, credit card, or bank transfer. In the reference number, box, you can go ahead and enter a check number if your customer is paying by a check. In the deposit to field, this is where the money is going to be going. Usually your undeposited funds account if you batch deposits later, or your bank account if it's already being deposited. Once those are filled in, check the amount received matches the actual payment amount. If it does, then you're done. Go ahead and click save and close. Now, if a customer only paid part of their invoice, QuickBooks will leave the remaining balance as still open. For example, if the invoice is for $500, but they only paid $300, you'll see a $200 balance due that you can follow up on later. Now, if they overpay, say they sent $520, QuickBooks will give you the option to either leave it as a credit on their account or issue a refund. Once you're happy with the details, click the green Save and Close or Save in New if you have another payment to enter. Later, when you go into your bank transactions feed, you'll see this payment appear and be able to match it to your bank deposit, making reconciliation super easy. Managing payments can be a very time-consuming and tedious task. So here are a few tips to make receiving payments in QuickBooks Online even smoother. First, go ahead and enable QuickBooks Payments so customers can pay you directly from their invoices. Batch deposits. If you have multiple payments going into the bank at once, just go ahead and batch them and make sure you're regularly reconciling so you can catch any errors that you have early. And that's it. Now you know how to receive and record payments in QuickBooks Online like a pro. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more small business tips, and let me know in the comments what's your biggest challenge when it comes to keeping your books up to date. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks Online Coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, 
feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.